Hey Maker, if you use iPicky to edit your product photos and you want to learn how to properly resize your images for Etsy using this software, this video is for you. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole and I am a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. If you don't know what resizing is, why it matters or what the recommendation is for Etsy, I suggest watching my recent video resizing images for Etsy 2023 and you can grab the link for that in the description below. Now I'm going to take you inside of iPicky and show you how to use my three-step process to properly resize your images for Etsy. Okay, so here we are inside of iPicky. Okay, we're going to go to open and we're going to select the image that we want to edit. Okay, and you'll notice down here in the left corner, it tells me my current pixel dimensions. So in knowing that 4,000 by 3,000 is my pixel dimensions, I know that this image has an aspect ratio of four three. So for every four units this way, there's three units this way. So Etsy's recommendation for that first thumbnail image is a four three aspect ratio. Okay, but if you checked out my complete guide to sizing images for Etsy, you know that Etsy is going to display your images a little different on different devices. So my recommendation is a five four or a four three aspect ratio. There's not a huge difference. So either works iPicky works a little different when it comes to resizing. And so I'm going to take you through two different processes here. So the first one is we're going to talk about this 4-3 aspect ratio. And if you intend on using a 4-3 aspect ratio for your Etsy photos, if you're an iPhone user or a smartphone user, specifically an iPhone user, your image that comes from your camera will be a four three aspect ratio if you shoot in landscape. We're gonna go to crop picture. So step one of resizing is cropping to the proper aspect ratio. Etsy's recommendation is four three. We know that this, this image that we started with is a four three aspect ratio. If we go into the presets, we can see that there isn't a four three option. Okay, but we can choose original because the original was a four three. Now, when we do that, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to constrain and click on scale photo. Okay, so that when we go to resize, it's staying in the proper aspect ratio and it's keeping our pixel dimensions. If we were to turn that off, it's going to resize those pixels and it's going to lose that constraint. So original, click constrain, and then we're going to properly frame the image like we want. And I've got to watch this little stand over here. I did that a little tight. Okay. So hit apply. And that is step one of a resizing. Step two is going to, we're going to go to resize image. So now we're going to actually resize those pixel dimensions. So we want to have constrained proportions on so that we can keep that proper aspect ratio. And we know that when our aspect ratio is a four, three, that we are going to set the width to two, six, six, seven. And because we constrain the proportions, it's automatically going to put the height at 2000. You could also just go in here because you know Etsy's recommendation is 2000 on the shortest side. You could go in here and just put 2000 in for the height and that would automatically set our width and then we're going to apply. That is step two of a resizing. So we're going to go back to step one and I'm going to show you how to crop and resize your image. If you aren't starting with the aspect ratio from your camera that you're actually going to use on Etsy. So let's say we take our image on an iPhone. iPhone produces a image of a four, three aspect ratio, but I want to set my aspect ratio to a five, four for Etsy. 
So I'm going to go to crop image. You'll see here in our presets, we don't have a 5-4 preset, okay? But if you downloaded my complete guide to sizing images for Etsy, you know that when you have a 5-4 and Etsy recommends 2,000 on the shorter side, which is going to be the height, that our width is going to be 2,500. So what we're going to choose is we're going to choose no fixed proportion. And we're going to click scale photo and constrain. And we're going to put 2,000 by 2,500. Okay. And then because we have scale photo and we're constraining those aspect ratios, we can make the size a little bigger to frame how we want. Okay, so then we can properly frame it. Now, by doing it this way, because we had to set those width to height restraints to determine the shape, we've already accomplished step one and step two. So if I apply this and I go into resize image, we don't have to make any adjustments because we've already made them. Now, step three of a resizing is going to be to reduce that file size to, be, to meet Etsy's recommendations of under one megabyte. So we're going to go to save. And you'll notice here we have quality. So when we talk about file size, we're talking about the amount of, of data. And if we go to highest here, you'll notice that the file size on highest quality is a 2.56 megabyte. That's huge. Etsy recommends under one megabyte. So if we go to great, that's going to take us down to a 493.91 kilobyte, which is perfect. My recommendation, and it's not, you know, a hard recommendation, typically between 500 and 700 is good. So we're right about 500. We're good to go. If we go down to good, about 299. It's a little low. I wouldn't go under 300. So we'll, we're going to pick great, and then we're going to save it to the computer. And there's two different processes that you can take to resize your images for Etsy inside of iPicky. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.